Hello and welcome. How's everyone doing out in the stratosphere, the atmosphere, out there in the world? It's me here, Pooh Bear 253, here in Pooh Bear's Precious Pumpkin Patch. And we are here to take a beat because I have cried and my emotions are just all over the place and I just have to say that I'm just so overwhelmed by the overwhelming support all around the world for the cause of Black Lives Matter. Um, I tell you, whew, George Floyd is definitely just going to be going down in history, you know. It, it's just... It's like it's just it's just overwhelming, and um, just the amount of love that's being poured out all over the world to try to just erase the injustices that happen, you know, here in the U.S. And I'm not really up to par on how legal systems are in other places around the country but it's definitely backwards and corrupt here in the u.s for sure um so whew, with that being said just i'm just taking a quick break because i've been posting on instagram been on instagram watching stuff and some of the stuff is very disturbing some of the stuff is very it it makes you feel uplifted and it gives you hope and yeah so but i just just give my little heart a break so this is just my little intro i'm gonna be doing an edited video today <laughs> no live today i'm doing an edited video today right here i have my sweet little cadence elise and she's gonna be one of many babies I will be changing today. It's just going to be a simple change and chat video. We're going to be getting dressed. We're going to be dressing Lucian and Alexander and Elijah and of course this little sweet pea. Just um, hubby's at work today. So today is Wednesday. So I am all alone today and to help fill up some time I want to come and spend some time with my babies and get them in some fresh fits. Say, mommy, I've been in this for months. It's time for a change. It's time for a change, mommy. So if you want to hang out and chat with us and just take a quick little break from what's going on in social media. I'm not saying that we need a break from it. It needs to be seen, it needs to be heard, it needs to be shared, it needs to flood all Instagram, Facebook, everywhere because black lives do matter and it's about time the whole world sees what's been going on behind closed doors and when cameras aren't rolling. So yeah, it's a crazy time we're living in here, y'all. We got a tropical storm coming our way. I don't know if it's turned into a hurricane yet. Man, we got so much going on right now. Who just pray, y'all? Just pray. Who just pray? <laughs> That's all I can say is just pray. And <clears throat> we're going to get through this together. So come hang out with us. We're going to try to leave the heavy stuff on the back burner and just change some cute babies. If you want to hang out with us, come on. All right, first up on the changing block, we have my sweet little Lucian Ozias. Um, he's a sweet little yogi baby that was created for me some couple years ago by Yolanda Boy Glover, and he is a sweet Marita Winters sculpt. Absolutely fell in love with the Denver Rose. That's the kit that he is, the Denver Rose. I love him so much. And he's gonna be rocking this sweet little jungle theme diaper. It's one of my newer cloth diapers that I got. And this is 
kind of hot is long pants but it's no sleeve so and it's got the little lion hood I thought would look cute on him so that's all he's gonna be wearing no no socks no mittens during the summertime I do much better with the whole constantly want to put my babies in socks and mittens and I used to have some uh, sleeveless onesies but I can't find them anymore so I'm guessing that I lost those sleeveless onesies I had in the flood so whenever Burlington's open back up and I get to scurry away for a little bit I'm gonna see if I can find some but I saw somebody post um, their Burlington's and like it was like naked in there bare like no 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 nothing was in there so I don't know if that's like everywhere the Burlington's are looking kind of kind of bleak so I'm not in any rush to to go see so I don't know so what has gone on this week um this Monday that just passed we had our first venturing out to the to the gym and we took our stepping tone class with John and it was amazing we had a great a great time it was six people in the class and we were all spread out but it was so awesome just to get back in there you know it was so awesome I miss it so much and yesterday we did an online class, our kickboxing class, is what we did yesterday with Adrian. He has uploaded some videos on YouTube and we did one of the uploaded videos. So that was super fun. And if it doesn't rain today, we're gonna take a walk through the neighborhood. And if it does rain, we'll probably do some Just Dance. And we're gonna do some Just Dance probably tomorrow as well because I oh man this might not work <laughs> look at <laughs> look at this armhole <laughs> y'all y'all look at the size of this armhole can y'all see oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't know Lucian this might not be your outfit baby this <laughs> God, dog, that armhole is humongous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> say, uh, say, mm, mom. Say, I don't, I don't know, mom. <laughs> <laughs> this outfit is swallowing him. Poor baby. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the first outfit, man. That was a fail. But oh my god, it is so big. Look how big. Oh. <laughs> Look how big. Look at the Oh my gosh. That is a hot mess, y'all. A hot, a hot mess. Oh my goodness, my poor baby. Well, we're just gonna make it work for right now. Cause I don't have nothing else really besides just some plain old onesies to put him in. I definitely can use some boy outfits for sure. But he does look kind of cute like this. So I'm just gonna kind of scrunch it up on him and we'll take a few pictures. Alright, so you guys saw a few little steel pictures of him in his little lion cub outfit, which is swallowing him, but he still looks cute. Look at those cute little tootsies. I love his little toes. So, so cute. Alright, next on the changing block, we have my sweet little Elijah. Grayson, is that right? Wait, 
No, Elijah Cole. Elijah Grayson was my peanut. Elijah Cole. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, y'all. And I just wanted to share, since I had picked him up off his little pillow, my aunt made these little pillows for me, and I was telling y'all how I was faking it till I make it. Y'all, look, 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 look. <laughs> Ta-da! Say, instant pillow! <laughs> so it's just a Ziploc bag, y'all. With some nice little polyfill up in there. Bam! Say, great Ooh, Lord Hickles. Come on, hold on. Say, great value! <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Where am I going with the pillow? Hold on, let me put this back. When you going with the pillow? Goodness. Get it together, lady. Alright, so let's put that back. But it works. It's good enough for me. So I've already detagged and sprayed everything. So this is going to be his little outfit. He's going to be my little swim baby. This is actually a little um, swimsuit. A little boy swimsuit that's been hanging up in my closet for a while. It's zero to three months. And it's Old Navy. I got it on clearance some years back. Maybe about two years or so. I hadn't used it yet. And I thought it was super cute. Look at the little shorties. And I have one little swimmer diaper right here. And it's Dory and either Nemo or Nemo's dad on there. Little swimmer since he's wearing a little swim outfit. So that's what he's going to be wearing today. So get it off its hanger. Oh. Oh goodness, what's going on? What's this stuff? Oh dang it. I clipped one side. Didn't realize it was secured on the other side too. Darn it. See what happens here. I was trying to be prepared. Have everything ready. But look at me. Just look at me. Still not all the way ready. Alright. So the little changing is gonna be pretty quick, so. Uh, since I have everything kind of already ready. Alright, so he had on this cute little ABC diaper. Y'all know I've been just completely obsessed with the little cloth diapers. I just love them so much. So cute. And it's just so nice you don't have to deal with, you know, all the poopy and all that stuff. For, you know, like if, if I was a mom to like a living, breathing baby. You have to change these, that poopy in there, and it stinks, and look. So thank goodness I have to deal with that. All right. So let's put on his little swimmer. Let's see how cute that's gonna look. I had an idea of like, getting a little inflatable baby pool. <laughs> And put in like some type of um, like possibly put in some type of little material in there to make it look like water and put the babies in there and I was thinking of like some blue tool or something and it kind of looks like water and let the babies have a swim but that costs money to like go, go buy stuff and I'm like for just a few minutes it's just not financially um, logical for me <laughs> look for these little shorts this little diaper looks so cute oh my goodness I have to take a picture of him in, in just the diaper I just have to Alright, I just had to pause and take some pictures of him in this cute little diaper. So now his little swim shorts are cute. I just know he's gonna look so cute in this. And my babies they have like their little tie babies. I always bring them over 
They just kind of hang out. Yeah. So cute. So anything else that's been going on for moi, besides going back to the gym, just been hanging out with hubby, because he's still working from home. Most days it's on Monday and Wednesday he has to go into his office. But on but on um, the rest of the days we just sit in his office room and watch movies and every now and then like something comes through and he has to stop for a second and do something but it's not a whole whole lot of stuff he has to really do so we've just been getting our money's worth off of Netflix we've been getting our money's worth from Netflix for real And just in the afternoon, just dance or walking and and or going to the gym starting this week. And I've also made another um, devotion, I guess, is what I could call it. Aw, Surfasaurus. Um, you know, because we've been on this weight loss journey for forever. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. I'm gonna have to snap a few pictures and send to Kimberly. I'm gonna let that little Billy hang out a little bit. But um, you know, I we had been doing good, losing weight, and of course, sometimes you just kind of get a little lax on something, on certain things. And I've been getting a little lax on my cereal and buying more sugary cereal, and I figured that is like completely sabotaging me. Um, I had just read the box of one of my cereal boxes and I was like, oh my gosh, that is literally over, like, that is all of my sugar intake plus in one day in this one bowl of cereal. Because they say, you know, you read it and it's like per cup, but of course you don't just eat one cup of cereal. I don't anyway. We eat probably about three cups of cereal. Um, is what we normally pour into our bowls and kind of measured it once is what it normally kind of turns out to be in and it was like literally a hundred and five percent the cereal that I'm eating right now it was a hundred and five percent of my daily sugar intake and I was like mm, yeah that's definitely putting some pounds on for sure so I'm going back to consciously you know thinking and reading the labels for the cereal that we buy so I'm just going to be doing like you know plain Cheerios the corn and the little corn chicks and just the stuff with the least less just barely any sugar in it is uh, and hopefully that can help me maintain a little bit more as well so I'm going to be starting that tomorrow because I still have some sugary cereal in there but I asked hubby if he would please eat it for me and I am going back to the bland cereal that's something else I'm going to be doing so let's get some pictures of this cute <laughs> That's my sweet, my sweet baby boy. My sweet little Elijah. He looks so cute. Say hi, Auntie Kimberly. He looks so cute. Look at his little, look at the little belly. And his little diapy. Surfaceurus. All right, say next baby's turn. All right, family. The next baby we have is Mr. Alexander Wade, and that's his little monkey. And he's gonna be wearing these cute little dino socks. This is his diaper I chose for him. It's a gray diaper with dinosaurs all over it. I know, dinosaur overload. 
And this is his sweet little outfit. It says Roar. It's an orange sleeveless onesie with little white shorts with multicolored dinos all over it. Green dinos, orange dinos, pretty blue dinos, and very cute navy blue dinos all over it. And that's what he's going to wear. And on his little tootsies, he's going to have these little shoesies. And of course, you guys know me. We don't wear shoesies without socks unless they're jellies. Because we don't want cutie pie all on the bottom of his feet now, do we? Say no, no, no. I do not want that at all. Not on my baby's precious little feet. Say no way, Jose. Okay. <clears throat> All righty. There we go. Everything, like I said, already been sprayed with baby powder. They're ready to roll. So first, we put his little sockies on. And put the little dinosaur inside so we can see. There we go. I like to see the little design. Alright, so because he has an anatomically correct little belly plate, so we gotta be real careful not to expose all his little boy bits. There we go. So we're just gonna lift him up like this. Take this diaper off. Put that one to the back like so. Boop. Lay him back down. There we go. Alright. So y'all, just like everyone else, you know, I'm human. And have definitely been... Whoop, oh no! If that did show, I'm definitely going to have to put like a little... <laughs> Hopefully it didn't show too bad. I'm going to have to definitely put like a little sticker wherever that popped out at. Oh, Lord. I yanked it too much. Dang. But anyway, like I said, let me try to see. Just like everybody else, you know, I've been having that new baby itch to and I've just been kind of going back and forth with, you know, who's going to be leaving my nursery. And I, I have a baby in mind. Nothing set in stone, of course. But, uh, it just gets to a point, I think, um, is it... Oh, like the J. Crew, um, Jaleesa was talking about how she's got babies coming and she's got to get rid of some babies because she just gonna be, she just doesn't have the room for all the babies and it's just like a constant thing. This is a constant thing where we're like constantly, like there's always something new coming out and. You love your old babies, but you still want to collect new babies too. And you got to make room. You have to make these tough decisions. And it's so hard. Because like I can make room by putting Yuri and Viserion on the shelf of what my build bears are. I don't necessarily want to do that, but I will do that to make room. And I was toying around with eventually, not right now, but eventually possibly <laughs> putting Cadence up for adoption. But like, not right now. My thing is I have a hard time putting my current babies up for adoption if I, if, if I don't have anything coming to replace them. So it's like, for right now, because I can't spend any money, I would have to find money somehow. And for us, what does that mean? You know, 
letting a baby go, adopted out one of your babies to get a little bit of money. And for me, with my dogs being older, and let's see, like, not, you know, I'm not going to get a whole lot of money for my dogs, in my opinion. And you would have to sell, like, two or three dogs just to get one back in return. And I'm like, ugh, I'm just not down for the struggle. I'm just not... <laughs> I'm not down for it, so it's like, I'm just stuck, just having to wait until I can get some revenue going. Oh, this is so cute. Look at these little shoes. So right now, I'm just kind of stuck. I'm like, I don't want to sell my babies if I know they're not going to generate enough money to get me a new baby. And besides my babies that I have already in my collection, the kids, you know, and they like you have to wait on them to be reborn. It's like, ugh, what a struggle. Ah, oh, you look so cute. My little handsome. Let's see, he needs a pacifier. Let's see, do I have any? I don't have any readily available, but this is his pacifier that came with him. So let's check him out, y'all. Let's get his pictures taken. All right, everybody. That's Alexander Wade. He is my um one of my real born scopes the owen asleep i always loved this baby like i just absolutely love this kid <laughs> and i've been playing around with the idea of putting him up for adoption but i just love him so much i just i don't i don't think i can do it <laughs> at least not now Look how cute. Roar. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to our last baby that will that will be getting changed in this video. So I hope you all have been enjoying <clears throat> our. Oh, stay there. Oh, oh, I need you to move. <laughs> Stay there, stay there. Okay, and this is Cadence Elise, my little Katie cat. The baby that I just said that I am toying with the idea of putting up for adoption. Definitely not something I want to do, but I don't know. I just don't know. It's just so hard, y'all. If I could find some other way to find like a cute little cradle or something to keep a few more babies in or something without making the nursery look more junky like I think my nursery is just kind of perfect right now you know if I add any other piece of furniture in here I feel it, it it's gonna start to go bad so it was like you just kind of you just kind of lose that battle Ooh, it's such a rough battle y'all but she's going to be wearing this cute little princess kitty little um, romper onesie dress type of little get up y'all. And it's Bon Bon Bebe. And it's small which is 0 to 3 months in their size. It's a little white kitty with a cute little crown. She's going to have this little purple diaper. This little white H&M. Um, little sun hat and her little clear jellies which are so cute I kind of even I kind of like even want to put like seriously I seriously want to put socks on with this because this is little black writing 
right in here. I love the fact that it's got the little heart. I don't know how you guys can see the little heart print on the bottom. I think that's so cute. And like just about everybody in the Reborn community has these in pink and gold. I have like almost all of the colors myself. I have the pink and the gold of the other style that kind of cover the foot. Or I have another kind of like this. And my gold one is the one that covers the whole foot. But everybody got these. You guys know where to get these from. Get these from Old Navy. They're so cute. Um, and like if you like cat, if you follow the clearances, like when summer is coming to an end, is where you could get these bad boys for the cheap, cheap. I mean, for the cheap. I'm talking two, three dollar cheap. You can. Uh oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's get her changed. And like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Cause I've just changed her body out and I love her body even though I did have to do a little uh, Negro rigging on her body because her body that she's on now it was Oriah's original body and you guys remember the little short leg syndrome that I wasn't feeling with her and her artist <laughs> Had those zip ties on that bad boy so tight, I couldn't get them off. And I was trying to snip, snip to get them zip ties off to switch that body out, y'all. It was a struggle. To all the artists out there, just a little heads up from uh, collectors. Please don't put the death grip on those zip ties, y'all. It was a monster to try to get them off and I damaged the body right here and I kind of snipped the body and it was unraveling so I had the great idea to get some what's that stuff called some not gorilla glue like that glue that instant glue that everybody ends up gluing their fingers together y'all know what I'm talking about and I glued right here but it's like you probably can't hear but it's like it's like really hard right here on her body because I glued it so that it wouldn't come loose. But I don't mind it. And I know if I try to put her up for adoption, that's definitely going to be a... I would have to definitely take some money off for that. And like, I don't mind it. And I just think she looks so cute with her new body. It's absolutely perfect for her. And I really do love my Katie Cat. And I don't want to put her up for adoption. But a lot of times, there are a lot of babies that we don't want to put up for adoption that we, we end up putting up for adoption because there are other babies that you want to collect. And yeah, and I just know the time is going to come at some point that, you know, you're going to be doing that filtering out again that I did a couple of years ago where I was selling my babies. To get new babies because you know you just eventually you're gonna want some new dang on babies in the story <laughs> no matter how much you love the ones you have there's always gonna be new kids coming out and i want to explore in the silicone world at some point and i just can't have a nursery full of babies all over the place um, Okay, got it, got it. But yeah, situations like that is just like, uh, so unfortunate. What it is, what it is. So I don't know, it's nothing set in stone or anything. And then like, my problem is, I don't like seeing my babies <laughs> on other people's channels. Like, I'm like, that's my baby. Like, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to sell my baby to somebody else. I'm like, uh uh, no, 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 no. I don't know, I guess I'm just weird like that. Because, like, when you really have a bond with your dolls and to see somebody else playing with them. 
or doing something that you might not like, something that you didn't do with your dog and you don't like it. But like I say, once you sell it, like that's a wrap. You, you have no more say in it. And I feel like if I'm feeling like if I sell my dog and I'm not going to like seeing it on somebody else's channel, that means that it's, I shouldn't sell that dog. <sighs> so that's why nobody has left yet because I'm still up in the air about it. But once you let go, they gone. End of story. <sighs> Anywho. All right, let's see. I think we're just going to weasel this on up this way. Like I said, I know we all go through that, though. It's just, that's just a part of the game. Like I said, unless you're somebody that you end up finding, like, your dream baby, and you are content with that one or two or however many babies, and you're not interested in trying to go after anything else, Oh wait, I forgot. See, I'm tripping. <laughs> I just, I can just kind of. I remember. I find that so hilarious, though. How I remember how I would never put my baby's like an outfit on without a t-shirt underneath, like a onesie. But in the summertime, it'd be so hot, and she has three, four arms. And stuff I, I just I wasn't even thinking because I've been changing all the boys and they have four arms and I just completely forgot that she has three four but I think we might just we might just roll with it today It's hot in here, y'all, because during the day, I try to conserve energy, and I just turn the, all the fans on high and turn the air off, and normally, you know, I can last as long as I'm being chill, and most of the lights are out. See, the lights on in here because I'm recording and everything, but most times if I'm not recording, the lights are off, and it helps keep the house from getting too hot. And I got lights on in the nursery. So, like I say, it's too hot to put a onesie on underneath this. I know she's a doll and she has three, four arms. It don't, it don't, the cloth body don't bother me no more. It used to back in the day. I think as you mature in the hobby and you just kind of be like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Oh, these are a little too big on your little tootsies. I might have to put some socks on. Yeah, we might have to get some ruffle socks. I'm a little too small. Let's see. I mean, too big. Let's try these. Let's see what this looks like. Let's try this foot. There we go. Let's try. I think I might like it with the little socks. <laughs> oh man. I tell you, when you look at these shoes and you see how small they are, but then you put your baby's foot in it and see how small your baby's foot is. <laughs> I was like, dang, girl, your little feet too small. Here I am thinking we gonna be good to go, no ma'am. And then a little toes curled down, so if they were out, it probably would help. And that's another thing, like, I don't wanna let go of this kit because I love this kit so much. <laughs> I always loved this kit but I didn't get it 
back in the beginning because I was all into full arms and stuff. And that's the reason why I didn't get her earlier. And then once I got over the whole full arm thing, it's when she finally joined my nursery. All right, let's get ready to take her pictures. Oh, you look so cute, my little Katie cat. Oh my goodness, I can't take it, even though her shoes are too big. But Cadence looks so cute. And this little romper. Look at that sweet girl. Aww. She looks so sweet. Say hey, aunties and uncles. And she has a little kitty. Katie cat. But that is about it, you guys. And... Stay tuned for my closing remarks. Whew! I'm tired. Oh! Oh, my back. My stomach. Cause we did some abs when we went to the gym. Oh, everything hurts. My arms, my shoulders hurt. But, we in here, y'all. That was it. I changed uno dos tres cuatro with cuatro i can't see it right i changed let me stick to the language that i i know and four of my babes today just wanted to give myself a break anybody that wanted a little break from the total realness that's going on in the world right now but um i still say you need to see it you need to watch it so you can understand the frustration and the pain um, and just the global outcry for justice and to, to just let people know that Black Lives Matter too, you know? And it was like a post going around, we know that all lives matter, but all lives are not gonna matter until black lives matter you know so anyway because all means everybody you get it but anyway <laughs> but that's my little two cent on that i enjoy coming and doing a little change in video with my babes i hope y'all enjoyed it if you enjoyed our video go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you will get some notifications when we upload and if you really really enjoy you can go ahead and click the bell so hopefully maybe you'll get all notifications when i do my little random uploads here and there it's summertime i hope you guys are enjoying to the best of your ability um still staying safe and practice practicing social distancing and wearing your mask when you go out um we don't do the glove thing i just feel like you forget that you have them on and you just kind of transferring germs everywhere so i don't do the glove thing just wash your hands and until you can get to the sink and the water and the soap and water get your little purell the germ mix mm-hmm and they have all kind of resources for how to make your own at home if you need to. Um, but we have some here. I have a big old bottle and we just been, you know, using that to fill up smaller bottles and keeping it moving. But that's it. It's just me and my husband. So it don't take that much. So have y'all noticed my beautiful mermaid hair is back? Oh, it's been up in a bun, but I got my little signature, little top pony going on. So, last year it was like pink, light pink, purple, blue, and multicolored. Now it's just all over the place everywhere. So, all of the colors are everywhere this year. And next year, hopefully, hopefully that hair that I ordered from <laughs> AliExpress, Lord have mercy, whenever it does come in the mail. Hopefully that'll come in the mail and my hair will be... Uh, I'll have some different hair for next summer. So I'll just hold on to it whenever it does come. Um, hopefully soon. 
And I did get bitten by the like, oh my gosh, I want to buy something book. And I did do a little online shopping using my money, of course. I just couldn't help it. Like, Pat Pat, <laughs> y'all ever see Pat Pat on y'all as y'all scrolling on Instagram? They even have some cute stuff. I've ordered from Pat Pat before. The only thing is the sizes are way, way off. If you get something that's three to six months, it's going to be 69 to 12 month. <laughs> if you get something that says newborn, it's most likely may fit your um, zero to three month baby. So everything I got was newborn. Uh, and I got some socks, a couple socks that say zero to three month. But all the outfits I got newborn. And hopefully some of my newborn babies can fit it. I can scrunch it up on them. But if not, I'm really hoping that at least Persephone will be able to use it. And my boys... Um, We'll be able to use some of the stuff. I got a cute little couple little outfits. So whenever that comes in the mail, who knows when that'll be coming in the mail. Um, I'll share that with you all. So I just wanted to buy something and I did. Spending up all my little money, y'all. It's a shame. But I'm like, I wanted something new for my babies and I wanted to give them another shot because the clothes are good quality because I had bought some clearance stuff, like a little jack-o'-lantern, little cute little onesie and hat that's going to be for Dason and that's who I'm really trying to get reborn right now but I'm having a hard time like trying to let go of babies right now so I just I'm just gonna have to wait until I can just afford to just pay and get him reborn and possibly once I get him then I'll entertain the idea of letting some babies go so I'm just wondering who I am going to like um who am I who who am I going to contract to do him for me cuz I'm willing like when the time comes I'm going to be more than willing to pay the price for a quality reborn doll and I'm going to want just that if I pay the money I'm going to want your respect for my money and treat me like a person treat me like you would treat a friend you know i don't want an artist like once they get your money they just forget who you are you know what i'm saying so i gotta find somebody that's good with people and you know customers good customer service skills i'm not saying message me every week or you know every day or every week you know but at least twice a week once a month to let me know what's going on, you know, I'm not asking for every dog on day, <laughs> uh, for you to be giving me updates and stuff. But that's so far down the line. I'm just having such a difficult time with it. Oh my god, you guys don't understand. It's so hard being on this budget and not being able to get new babies and seeing everybody else like, like make their own dogs. <laughs> Miss Serenity Smith, all their beautiful babies and getting babies and all these other people like getting box openings, like box opening after uh, box opening and I have to just sit and watch and live vicariously through you all. <laughs> and I can't open any I'm just, I'm being so dramatic, I'm playing. <laughs> But like, it is like box openings. That is like the, the creme de la creme, the creme de la creme, whatever is like the tops. And it's fun having box openings. Oh, but alas, I must wait. Mm. Um, Cause I collect from my heart and I'm not just like a kind of new, I want a new, new. Okay, throw this one out. Okay, let's next box open, throw these out. You know, I'm not, my nursery isn't really a revolving door. Eventually, babies do leave. But I keep my babies for a long time before they leave. But so, And I'm just not ready to part with any of my babies right now. I'm going to give some love to my sweet little man over there. I see you over there. My sweet little man, I see you. From Adriana, my sweet little baby. From relaxing with my reborn. I see you looking so cute. He's so cute. I love holding him. 
He got a hot sleeper on gown. I know my poor baby was so hot over there. But I just recently changed him. He looks so cute. His new spot is over there in that little rocky thing. I think I'm going to turn the little rocky thing on while I edit this video. But I have chatted and talked enough. My closing remarks we can't, uh, just got to be too much. But I'm just joking. Miss Rennie Smith, you know, I love watching y'all videos and y'all babies. You know, I have no ill will towards anybody. You know, no jealousy or no hidden agendas or anything. I'm happy, like I said, if you got the money for it on the skill and or the skill to make your own babies and have your box open out the box opens hey good for you i enjoy watching i ain't gonna lie though i do wish i could do it but i can't i i don't have the skill nor the the financial dividends to be getting me new babies and stuff but what i want to do one day is just kind of have one slot in my nursery for elite dolls so i get to like enjoy like these elite babies for a little while trade that doll out for a next elite baby and like then then kind of have my normal collection but like have maybe one or two slots for like elite uh elite my elite boy and elite girl type of thing and then i don't know maybe kind of check out all the different artists and stuff like that and then i won't have to worry about parting with my my heart babies you know we'll see just an idea throwing out there i don't know what he knew but it's just gets you ex i get excited just thinking about oh my beautiful babies to come and i just have to let those dreams and aspirations just hold like tied me over <laughs> until i can get what i want but i have so many babies that i want and then the thing is, like, the tough thing now is finding you an artist. You know, an artist that's willing to take on customs. Like, I don't even really have to have a custom. Like, can I just send you the doll and you just do you? And just, I uh, can I just have the say of the general skin tone, you know? But anyway, I've rambled enough. I'm getting hungry. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, so... I'm going to take this time to edit my little videos I did for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I didn't say that 15,000 times. Holanda, just be quiet. Just be quiet. Mm -hmm. Boo. Boo. Oh.